Welcome to Queens, New York. This is Shea Stadium. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Philadelphia Phillies and up against the New York Mets. But you counterfeit, I counted your fits, led you astray in the worst way. Too legit, them hammer days, and we buck down. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Out of eye, the clapper have you twitching with no ceiling. Just about set to go down. And starting in this one, Jacob DeGrom. Singy always a treat when we get to watch him work. Very crafty guy out there on the hill. A stellar career ERA in the low twos. Very tough to get to. Just when you think you've got him figured out, he flips the script. We'll see how the hitters are able to adapt to him today. All right, ready to get underway. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Hard hit left side. Sends it across the first. Schwarber out of the play. As we take Ugander and Joe Girardi's lineup for the Phillies. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out mess up his timing somehow try to get in his head a little bit and then when he does come in the zone you may only get one pitch you better not miss it Marte makes the grab and there's two away that in third the right fielder number three Bryce Harper two outs base is empty Bryce Harper stands in for the Phillies pitch and he just misses and Singy as a team you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you right absolutely and, and you know if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early once they really settle in it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all So two balls and no strikes. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2-0 count. He's got to execute here or this could get ugly. Check swing, but he went too far. Two and one now. Here's Harper, the count two and one. That's a ball. I got three and one. Three balls, one strike. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Now front, pulls that one foul, now it's three and two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. McCann makes the catch, and that'll do it. We're midway in inning number one. Now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Bottom of the first. Starting on the mound in this one, Francisco Morales. And Siggy, he's a workhorse. Loves pitching deep into his starts. Boog, eight solid innings this last time out. Picked up the win. See what he's got today. If he plays catch with his catcher the way he did, doesn't shake off, I think we'll see more of the same. Bottom of the first. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Leading up for the Mets. The second baseman. And yeah. a pitch. McNeil. Here's a strike. Just missed. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Count one and we two. count one and two. Then he really sells the changeup with that arm action. 
Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike the right zone, field. especially with two strikes, right if you're going to miss, you want to miss Nimmo. off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Here's Brandon Nimmo. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The wind and the pitch. High fly ball out of the left center field. Tracks it down for the out. Two down. Batting third. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. One guy swinging a hot bat recently, Eduardo Escobar. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly. So watch out when he steps in. Starling Marte in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Fought off foul. Oh, and two now. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout. Nothing doing for the Mets. We played an inning. No score. To lose, to lose. I got nothing. Oh, no, Second inning set to go. And digging in for Philadelphia. For Brandon Philadelphia. Jordan. The center field. Chris, baseball today, Brandon. so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different hey. from the players that we see day in, day out. All ones account. Right-hander kicks deals. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boo. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. And he blows that one by him at a hundred. Two two now. And now the count filled up three and two. Well, who would have thought Jacob Degrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back to back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. Three balls, two strikes, the count. In the air, left field, Cannon. As this one sized up, makes the grab one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away that and good. wasn't able to stay the close. Shortstop. Trevor Story. Yeah, Boo, just incredible. You look at that benchmark of 200 innings, comfortably over that in 2018 with 217. And the sub-2 ERA just impressive at 1.70 to lead the league. Trevor Story comes up empty oh with a swing there. Batting here with one away. Second inning here. No score. Tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he went around according to Daryl Parker. Next pitch is inside, ball one. Kicks and deals. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Two away. 
just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the left fielder, Nick Castellanos. First offering misses badly for ball one. There's a strike. When you throw a fastball by a guy like that, I imagine it's got to feel incredible. Look for him to throw it again at some point. And the right hander deals. That's the third. Rolls across the diamond, and that is that. Down quickly, go the Phillies. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. And now it's going to be Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. The right-hander back to work. Yeah, there's the ball. Righty delivers. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. And a count one and two. Got him. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now it's J.D. Davis. The designated hitter. J.D. Davis. On the ground right side. In plenty of time to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. The third baseman. Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar. El Caballo up to him. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. Nope. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Swing and a miss. Count is one and two. Offering its foul back. Next one is yep, off the plate. Two and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Down in order, go to Mets. We'll move to the third with no score. Well, here we go, top of the third scoreless game, and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Righty to the plate. Good eye right there. One and one. Swings and chases a low one there. One and two. And now two and two. I got to count. Two and two. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. 
Really good take, especially with two strikes. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Leading off for Philadelphia. And now for the Phillies, the Chris Bryant. Good Chris. power. Oh. Not great in the OBP department. First offering misses the mark. The 1 0. And fouled off. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. Hoskins on at first, nobody out. Bounce back to the mound. Fires to second for one, over to Alonzo, double play. Gene Segura at the plate here. He's not the power guy, but he can hurt you to all parts of the ballpark. First pitch just misses. Top of the third, no score. Next offering is in for a strike. Middle, Lindor collects, throws to first, Segura out the play, and that's the third out. Home half of the third coming up, no score. Set for the bottom of the third, here's Mark Canna. Leading up for the Mets, the left fielder, Mark Canna. Morales back to work. In for a strike. That's strike one. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. Not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. And he deals. In for a strike. And it's 0 2. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. A swing and a miss down on strikes. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Just blown away in that at bat. Three Batting fastballs, eight. all strikes. Stop. Wasn't even able to Francisco. foul one off. There's not much you can take away Lindor. from an at bat like that as a hitter, other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. And now it's Frankie Lindor. And the first oh, pitch right misses for ball one. And the righty deals. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. Whoa, Next pitch is downstairs. Next pitch is outside. Right 
to third. Nice grab. And very nicely done for the out. Third base would have to be so quick with their first step that reactions. Hot shots like that. that. That's why they call it the hot form. That's a perfect Look example, man. though. There's no way he gloves that one if he's not dialed in, anticipating something coming his way, staying on his toes every pitch. Really nice job to get back up, set himself, and make a strong throw across the back. James McCann in now. In there for strike one. The 0 1. Swings and misses. And the count is 0 and 2. The next pitch misses. And the count 1 and 2. This hitter's been seeing good velocity in the at bat. He's kind of set up for that changeup. He hasn't seen it yet. Looks just like a fastball out of the hand. The one two. Next offering misses down and away. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Mets go down quickly. And we are still scoreless. And welcome back. John Chambi with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, off for the Kyle field. Schwarber. The designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber. The pitch. That's in for a strike. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. The wide to kick the pitch. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. I think he was sitting off speed there. The pitch. Stays alive. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And here it comes. And he chases that one. Now one away. JT Real Mutual steps in. The catcher, JT Real Mutual. And that's in there for strike one. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. The Phillies still looking for their first hit in this one. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And one and two. Next offering is fouled back. Next one just misses. It's two and two. And a pitch. Looked like it was a little bit up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And yeah, the right hater deals. Got him. Back to back strikeouts. 
Fast with one, two, and three to start this inning, but no trouble so far. I'm sure, he'd love to strike out the side here. Make a little statement, but you got to be composed in this spot. Focus on getting this next guy. You got two good outs. Want to get the third one and avoid the middle of that lineup coming up with the base runner. Could become dangerous. Here's Bryce Harper. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The Phils hitless so far in the game. Next offering is in for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Next pitch misses inside. Two and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. The big righty strikes out the side. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. Still no score. Welcome back. Bottom four, Jeff McNeil stands in. Leading up for the Mets, the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. And a strike on the outside edge. Nope. And now it's oh. even up. Way inside gets out of the way. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Two two now. Backed off the plate that time. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. It's a lead off oh. one. And that's the go-ahead run. Probably opted to go with the off-speed stop on that 3-2 with the bases empty. Nice pitch. But now he's got to work out of the strike. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo. First offering misses the mark. Yeah, it's even up. It's so important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. Nobody out. Runner at first. Next pitch inside. Now two balls and a strike.
the two one. It misses inside. Three and one. Back. These first two hitters really making him work out there. Already 14 pitches this inning. Left-hand batter waits. And down on strikes. And one gone. Try to start to this game on the mound. Looking very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. Number so six. this lineup hasn't had much success. Rolling. Trying to figure him out. Mark I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. Marte looks at a strike. Second trip to the plate for him. Next pitch misses, and that is ball one. McNeil, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Big swing and a miss. The one two. The punch out there, and he's down on strikes for the second time today. Well, we see it a lot more these days than we ever now, did Patrick, when I played. But a slider in the 90s Jeez. still catches your attention, oh, even if you're bro. sitting on the pitch. Good luck recognizing that tight spin and adjusting to the late break. Here's Pete Alonso. Yeah, the first oh, offering is not close. Two outs. Swings through that one for strike one. I guess you throw it that hard, you can get away with locations like that right down the middle. But I still think it's a dangerous pitch. Don't want to do it again. Strike two. The Mets yet to pick up a hit here. Now the count is even. In the dirt, blocked. The pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And the inning is over. Mets lead one. We're still knotted at zero. Back here at the ballpark, ready now for the fifth inning. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Jordan. The center fielder. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. Nope. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Offering misses two and oh. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases. And pick up a run. Okay. That one misses in the dirt. And there's a foul ball. The wind to the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. One hit run on base. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. 
He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports, too. In there, and it's 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first-pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's the strike. Misses. And the count's even at two. That's a really good take. And a swing and a miss. One away here in the fifth. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when the two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Runner takes off. That's in for a strike. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home run so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. I'd say that stayed in the tunnel for a long time. No chance of even fouling at all. In the dirt. Safe! He beats it! No score here, but a runner at third with one down. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step off and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. That one's in there, 0-1. one and a swing and a miss. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Next pitch is outside. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. No score yet, but a runner at third with two away. Billy Strand one. We are still scoreless. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, JD Davis. The designated hitter, JD Davis. The pitch. In the dirt, and it's 1-0. Count 1-0. Next offering misses, now 2-0. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound, okay with getting deep in the count, even falling behind. Well, in this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. The 2-0 is in for a strike. And a pitch. Got him. And one away. Now a 
10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. Now no pitchers Third are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Now here is Eduardo Escobar. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. In the air, left field, down the line. Castellanos makes the ground. Two away down. Now back, the left fielder, Mark. Stepping in, Mark Canna. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. First offering, and it just misses. And it's one and one. One ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Out towards right center field. And that will end the inning. And the Mets go down one, two, three. Still no score. Um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, you asked for me. About to go. And welcome back. Top six. So digging in now for Philadelphia, for Chris Bryant. The third baseman. DeGrom back to work. Ball one on a pitch inside. Is the zone for a strike. Strike one. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. One ball. So now two one strikes. and two. And the next pitch is way two. outside. A couple sliders away gets that hitter to really start looking and even leaning out over the plate. Very susceptible for the two seamer here. Let's see what he throws. Next pitch okay, misses inside and a full count now. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Gene Segura at the plate here. First pitch, and he just misses. Next offering way off the plate. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, great stop. It's there, and that's a great play. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop. Gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the boys up for sure. Back to the top of the lineup. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. In there for strike one. The Phillies still looking for their first hit in this one. The 2 
And that one almost got him. The next pitch misses. The count now two and two. Next one is off the plate. And now three and two. And here's a three two. Foul ball. Here comes a pitch. This ball's chopped on the ground. McNeil picks it up, sends it to first. Schwarber out of the play. And that is that. So he's through six. No hit innings now. 8 9 1 scheduled in the bottom of the six. And we still have no score. Bottom of the sixth inning. And the batter now, Francisco Lindor. Not your job. Francisco. Pitch. Lindor. Check swing, but he went too far. Strike one. Pitch misses there. And the count even one and one. That's Next pitch two. misses. Ball two. The 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Over to first. One away. Bottom of the six. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work on it. Another ground ball. Good execution. James McCann in now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. Next offering way no off the plate. Liner snagged it first. The batter, number one, second baseman, Jeff here. Back to the top of the Mets order, and now here's Jeff McNeil. First offering misses the mark. Count one and oh. Next pitch is downstairs. The Mets hitless so far in the game. Next offering is in for a strike. Fouls one off. Two and two. Kicks and fires. And now it's filled up. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. Inning over on the strikeout. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. You can sell it like a fastball. You can drop the velocity. You get the swing and miss. You can walk on it. Brooklyn. 
Welcome back. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Leading off for Philadelphia. The catcher, JT. The right hander back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty delivers. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Next pitch is outside. Next one off the plate inside. And a count is three and one. Wind of the pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. Cannon on the move to his right. They all pitch. And the foul ball, he stays alive. Out of line, out towards center. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. Like we saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. No outs. Runner at first. Bryce Harper to the plate. Here's a guy who's been struggling so far this year. It's only late April, but still hoping he'll turn it around soon. Ground ball right side could be two. Slings to second. Over to Alonzo. Double play. And now the center fielder, Brandon Jordan. He's a guy who does it all. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. They're going to say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move to the at-bat. And he deals. And now it's even up. Hard hit, right side. Toss to Alonzo. And that is that. Still in total command on the mound with seven shut out in it. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. And we still have no score. Back here at the ballpark, here's Brandon Nimmo. Leading up for the Mets, the right fielder, Brandon Nimmo. The wind of the pitch. And that one a little bit high. Righty to the plane. Lifted in the air, out to left. And it's caught for the out. Now batting, the center fielder, Starling. Here's Starling Martin. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, he hasn't shaken off the catcher very much at all today. Swings and fouls one off. The Mets yet to pick up a hit here. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through. through it. Strikeouts have been a big part of the success in not allowing a hit. Chases in the dirt, slider there. In time for the second out. 
good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. Now that first base. Alonso. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Still no hits on the board. One out away from taking the no-no into the eighth. First pitch is in the dirt. And the 1 0. Uh oh, and that got him. And the potential winning run is a board. You know, Boog, you always say how important it is to have a good field for the game. You say after the game, you step into the box, I'll throw some fastballs at you. No, actually, I think we're good, Chris. Davis lets that one go for a strike. Third trip to the plate for him here. In the air, foul off first. This one lifted in the air, left field. Racing makes the catch. And the inning is over. That strand one, and we're still knotted at zero. We go to the eighth and digging in for Philadelphia, Trevor Story. Off for the Phillies, the shortstop, Trevor Story. The line to kick the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Mm -hmm. Pitch. Goes all over for a call strike. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Trevor Williams up and throwing. With Casey, the left-hander, also throwing. Going two now. Just off the outside part of the plate. Really nice slider right there, sweeping across the dish, but just couldn't hang the edge. Next one misses. Two balls, two strikes. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Marte brings it in. And there's one down. The left fielder on the field. Nick Castellanos. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. In there, and it's 0-1. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. And he is just dialed in right now. Every pitch thrown with so much conviction. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Over near the wall. Escobar makes the catch. That's out number two. Good hard fastball the up in the zone right there. 17. They look really good coming Reese in, but so Hoskins. hard to get on top of as a hitter. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Up next to Only two down. hits allowed so far the tonight, Boog. So I don't Three. think that one will disrupt one. the momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game commanding his pitches all night long now he's out of the dugout and he's going to make a change that'll be it for Jacob DeGrom and he was a tough nut to crack pretty stingy from start to finish back with the new arm after a quick break taking over on the mound for the Mets Trevor Williams now he last pitched four days ago so he should feel pretty fresh well, he's having an excellent season so far ERA is under two 
lot of flexibility coming out of the bullpen. Making the move at first on the pinch run. Simone Muziati. Two outs, runner at first. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Going well, pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Your base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. Williams keeping an eye on it. Right-handed reliever. Here comes the pitch. There goes the runner from first to second, but way too late. Safe there. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. And on second, two down. In the air, out towards right center. Nimmo pulls that one down, and that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia, and we are still scoreless. Alec Bohm getting loose there. He's now in the game at first. Now playing first base. Number 20. Bottom of the eighth. Eduardo Escobar. El Caballo up to him. Leading up for the Mets. The third baseman. And here comes Escobar. Just missed. Right through there for a strike. Man, this has been impressive. Just now getting to 100 pitches as we start this eighth inning. He's given them a lot of length, and we'll see just how much longer they'll let him go. And a pitch. Oh, and it's even up. down the line and that one slices foul. Two two now. Stays alive. Swings and misses. And that's the first out. Here's Mark Hanna. Go left field. Mark. Hanna. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. The Mets still looking for their first hit in this one. Offering misses, and that's ball one. And a pitch. Two balls, one strike. And one fouled off, two and two. One down, base is empty. Right through there, got him. And there's two away. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. How that was it? number 14. Yeah, clearly right trusting his stuff in this one, Boo. Feeling really Man, good about boy. what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. 
pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. The Mets hitless so far in the game. The next pitch misses, and it's 2-0. The 2-0 is in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2-0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. This is three and one. Here's a line drive, and that's going to end the no hitter. It's a base hit. Now that catcher. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Francisco Morales. Gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Zach Eflin. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. James McCann. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Lindor leads off first with two down to the inning. Eflin a move to first, and he's back standing. The righty deal. That one missed. Action in the pen down there. Bailey Falter getting loose out there. One one to McCann. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. There's the ball. Tag safe in second. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if he can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Doesn't stop. That's for home. He hits close. He comes across the score. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You're out of run. Jeff McNeil stands in. The batter, number one. Second baseman. Yeah, that's in there for strike one. Yeah, now the one. Now one and one. The one one. Tap to first, and there's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. And the batter now, Brandon Nimmo. Now batter, right fielder, Brandon. First pitch, and that's in Nimmo. for a strike. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. But maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. The pitch. 
and that's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at third, so it'll be bases loaded and two gone. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. Now, but that's a pure stroke. Now the base is loaded. Right. Big opportunity for them to break this game right. open. Marte stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. Right hater deals off the mark there and one and one. Oh, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Swing and a miss. In the count, one and two. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Line drive caught. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. Just Last chance coming up for the Phillies. It's just some places, some places we go. It's just some whips, some whips we roll. Oh, always we know. Just some things, some things. So they turn to Edwin Diaz at the pen. And this guy can bring it velocity wise. Number 49. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now for the Phillies, Gene Segura. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do back. Man retired here in the ninth. Well, I definitely say that's a statement strikeout right there. You come out of the bullpen, okay. go right after the hitters, and three pitches oh, later, yeah. you got one yeah. out. I'll tell you what, if you're in the dugout, you're looking at each other and saying, "He's gonna be tough to get to today." Here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber, for the fourth time tonight. First pitch, and he just misses. Plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Next offering upstairs. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Going to be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at bat turns out. Swing and a miss. And it's three and one. And the tying run is on base. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Now that and now it is JT Real Muto. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but I'm not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. First pitch, just misses. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Next offering is fouled back. Starting to get some pretty good timing on that breaking ball, but he's going to have to stay ready for a fastball. Don't want to watch one go right by you. Hammer, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Just a clutch at bat right here. Big time swing, nice. and this team really needed it. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. A chance now to even the score and maybe extend this game. And now here is Harper. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Moves off the plate, and the count is two and zero. Oh. 
two on, one out. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Next one is off the play. Three balls and a strike. Well, they're applying pressure. Quality at bats, quality swings right now. And you see this offense doing it one man to the next. Showing a lot of fight right now. And they're making it difficult for the back end of this bullpen to close out this game. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. And the pitch. In the air, right field. Nimmo moving under it. Makes the catch for the second out. Brandon Jordan will hit next. Down to deliver as the hero. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. Out of here. Third home run of the season. And the Phillies take the lead. It's 3-1. That pitch was intended to stay inside, but it leaked out over the middle of the plate. Hitter waited on it, and he connected just perfectly. Pitching change here, Seth Lugo. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Lugo. Here's Trevor Story now. Now batting, shortstop, Trevor Story. In there for strike one. On one. to like the pitch up hasn't offered on either one of those pitches 0-2 count now I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there right hander kicks deals and a foul ball he stays alive two outs him out and that is that and some drama here in the top of the ninth as this home run gives him the lead and this is now a three one ball game welcome back and here comes the closer Corey Knievel and he'll do his best to hang on to this lead Welcome back. Here's Pete Alonso. Leading up for the men. The first baseman, Pete Alonso. Here comes the pitch. And ball one. There's the strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Next pitch Help. into Jeremy. And, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. to right. Harper settles underneath it. Makes the grab one down. Now 
now battle. The designated hitter, J.D. Swings through that one, 0-1. Well, so many hard-throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that guys have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. Just pumping gas out of the bullpen. So hard to play catch-up. Next pitch misses, and now it's even one and one. Here's a one one. That misses. Two and one. That one links to center and a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. But Hits against a firm front side. Hit. And yeah, the hands just go. continue to carry That's through the, ball. the middle of the field. Eduardo Escobar up now for the Mets. First offering misses the mark. Davis at first, one gone. Next pitch is popped up. And that one actually would be grabbed by Story. Now batting, left fielder, Mark. Mets yeah, down to their final out. Mark Ken, the next to hit. Stop bringing it just this. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Just one out away, trying to close it out. One ball, Swing one and a miss. And a count one and one. The tying run at the plate. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Next offering is foul back. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. This one in the dirt, but he's safe. Two-run game and two away here in the bottom of the ninth. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. The ball game, these guys had to battle with that tenth man, those fans making a lot of noise. But they took the lead in the ninth inning, quieted things down. They were able to get those final three outs in the bottom half as well. Just a very well-executed ball game. And your final, 3-1. Chris Singleton and our entire crowd, John Shopping saying so long.